Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a 2021 Ram 2500 Longhorn. Now, they did change the name. It used to be Lammy Longhorn. Now, it's Limited Longhorn. Don't know why it really mattered, but to them, it did. So, let's go and take a look at the window sticker so you guys can see what's optional and what's standard. This is gonna have the crew cab configuration with four wheel drive. $59,980 is the base price. Painted with the diamond black crystal pearl. And it has the mountain brown interior. And here's your standard equipment. Starting off the options, you do have that paint, which is $100 extra. And this does have the towing technology group, which is for $9.95. It's gonna give you everything that you see here, along with these two features up top. Safety group is listed for $15.90. Protection group, cold weather, fifth wheel prep package, and then this does have the off-road package too. Longhorn level one equipment group is $36.95. That does give you that 12-inch display if that's what you want. Anti-spin was option, standard Cummins, clearance lamps, and then this does have the upgraded 20-inch wheels. I do like the style of the 18s too, especially if you get a beefy tire, so I would definitely look into those if you like them. Now the tow hooks will be an option for this truck, so keep that in mind. Destination comes in at $16.95 with a total price of $80,955. So here's the front end of this truck. As you guys saw, tow hooks are an option on this truck. So keep that in mind if you're looking at the limited Longhorn. They are chrome. You do have parking sensors. And if you would like, you can get a painted front bumper if you don't like all the chrome. I think I would prefer the front bumper to be painted personally, but it doesn't look bad on this truck. I really do like the overall styling of it. The grill is gonna be slightly different from like the limited and the Laramie but you do have the limited headlights though. So you're gonna have full LED headlights, high and low beam, LED accent light on the side and right here. And you're gonna have LED turn signals. Let me just turn everything off for you too. And then at the bottom too, you have LED fog lights. There you go. So you have accent lights, as I mentioned, high and low beam projector, and you have LED fog lights just below really nice lighting and these headlights light up the road pretty well too especially with the fog lights on and here are your LED turn signals too on the side of this truck you do have a lot of chrome accents you have it on the mirrors you have it on the badges on the door handles and of course on the side you can see the front grille around the headlights they do give you fender flares on Laramie and up trucks too. This does have the optional 20 inch wheels. I like the 18 inch wheel a little bit better in overall styling. And they are wrapped in a LT-285-6020. And this truck is gonna have the Bilstein shocks which came with the off-road package. Now, I'm not a huge fan of these running boards. I'll be honest, I fell getting out of this truck because I feel like they don't stick out enough. And unfortunately for 2021, you cannot get power deployable steps anymore on 2019 you were able to get those i just checked online and if you look under the longhorn level one equipment group it does show power deployable running boards now i did select the package but it's still showing the wheel to wheel running boards i think that may be a typo so do some research i'll probably do a follow-up video on this just to make sure but i don't see that you can get deployable steps on this truck even though it shows it up here if you saw the window sticker, it did not show it on the window sticker either. So on Laramie and Limited, I know you can get the deployable bed steps though. Now let's get back to the video. Check out your Longhorn badge and check out your mirrors. They do give you an accent light and your clearance lights at the top are gonna be LED too. And here's a better look at those running boards too. You also have chrome access around the windows too. I forgot to point that out. Now on the mirror, you do have a convex that you can control from inside and you do have an LED light for backing up your trailer and then here's one of your cameras on the side. I didn't show you the camera on the front grill, but there is a camera up there too. They do give you your diesel fill up on the driver's side with your DEF right alongside of it. And this little red piece is new. They did not give these to you back in the day. This came without that. 
I wish they would just put a cap on. I don't know why they can't do that. I mean, the things they try to do to save money. But you do have an off-road badge back here. You can delete that from the factory. I think on a Longhorn truck, it looks kind of weird. So I probably would just roll without that. Now out back, you do have LED tail lights. And the license plate lights are gonna be LED too. And check out the overall styling too. This truck has a lot of badges and that Longhorn badge is huge. So it does stick out a lot, in my opinion. Now check out your key. You do have a Longhorn badge on this too. It says Ram Longhorn. And here's the front of it. Now you can drop that tailgate down by pushing the button twice. And of course you can remote start the truck from here and lock and unlock the doors. It does have a smart key system also. And this truck does have a standard spray and bed liner. And they do give you two plugs on the side. You have your seven pin and four pin. The four pin is new. My truck does not have a four pin for 2019. And this is new too for the cargo area. LED lights on each side and up top. And you have two cameras above there for the backup camera and for the camera inside on the mirror. And if you guys remember, it did have the prep package for the fifth wheel and gooseneck. Class 5 receiving hitch just below, so this is going to be two and a half inch. Seven and four pin connector down below. And I love how you cannot really see the parking sensors on this truck. They're kind of hidden. Some manufacturers put them, and actually Ram back in the day would put them on the bumper. Now, out back, this truck does have a five link coiled suspension. And I do think with the Billstein shocks, this truck rides really well. I think it probably rides just as good as any heavy duty truck out there. And you can get air suspension as an option too. But man, I love the way this truck looks though. So. Looks really good. And check out your Cummins. This is gonna be a 6.7 liter Cummins, made it to a 68 RF6 speed. And one good thing about this is it does not have the CP4 or the CP4.2, it does have the CP3 now. So that's a good thing if you are in the market for a Ram truck. This engine's good for 370 horsepower, 850 pound-feet of torque. And you can get 20 MPG on a highway with this truck. It has a 373 axle out back, so that's the only option for this truck. So that's gonna help with fuel economy too. This has such a unique styling on the interior. I mean, you have real leather seats, you have real wood, trim pieces and I think that this looks really nice especially if you like that cowboy feel like this truck has that 100% even up here you see they have this leather wrap on your grab handles it just looks really nice look at the accents around the speakers stitching I mean, everything looks good soft touch however they do have hard plastic pretty apparent in here too but when you step in you do have this nice plate that says ram you have your light controls on the side. Now up top, you can turn on the interior lights too. These are LEDs throughout the interior. And let's just go ahead and step inside. So again, that cowboy theme is very apparent on your gauges here and then obviously on your screen. Let's go ahead and start it up. And as you guys saw, this was an option. So you would get an 8.4 display. This is something new for 2021 too. This is something that Chevy's been doing or GM's been doing for a long time. So Ram's just doing the right thing and you know adopting such a great feature for the trucks too. Now let's go back to the screen. Now in order to control this, you do have some arrows up and down and left and right. So we're gonna pretty much go down, all right? So you have, this, that's actually something new. We're actually gonna go back up, I'm sorry. So the first thing you see is your speedometer. Second thing is your vehicle information shows your tire pressure, coolant, all your important gauges that you would like to see. Diesel particulate filter, oil life, fuel filter, battery voltage, exhaust brake, and then it gives you a summary for all your gauges. I stay here pretty much on my truck. And then this shows you your idle time. The truck only has six miles, so it hasn't been driven that much. And if you go down again, using the arrows, you have an off-road gauge. This is new for 2021. It shows the pitch and roll, and then the drivetrain. Driver assist, adaptive cruise control, this truck is option with that. Now lane sense is also new for 2021 too, so just keep that in mind. 
shows you your fuel economy and it also shows you like a current then you have a uh, trip information for trip A and B trailer tow shows you your miles and it shows you your percentage for your trailer brake audio messages like if you have a bulb out it would come up here any type of issues with the truck they'll show up here like if your DEF is low they'll show up here too and screen setup and takes you right back to the beginning check out your shifter it does have that leather wrap with a nice little aluminum piece on the side and even up top here let's look at the attention to detail look at the design look at this little graphic here look this is a nice truck I mean you just you can't beat it and even check out your badge limited longhorn edition man this is a beautiful beautiful trim piece all right so back over here you can turn off the lane keep if you don't want that on your 12 inch display it just I have to put the camera back as far as I can so you can see it all. but you do have all your AM FM all that good stuff if you like you can drag things out no one really uses AM anymore so you can take that off and put it out here that way you have it on your quick menu if you want a full screen you can click down here and it shows you a full screen for like your navigation now if you go to home you also can do a split screen so you can do navigation up top you can do climate down below love this system really nice uh, cautions tr traction control they do give you a 12 volt up here with some storage on the side and trailer brake listed you have your diesel exhaust brake tow haul parking sensors front and rear full wheel drive system this truck does have push button start too up top they do give you a LED light inside this compartment you just push the button on the side and down below they cheap out and give you an incandescent bulb now as far as your storage goes this truck is first place with that too so below these um, buttons you do have some storage four USBs type A type C and the auxiliary charging station and then a place to put your phone tons of storage you have cup holders additional storage this pops up now check out your badge here this is a cowboy truck and they make sure you see that when you get inside USB and decent amount of storage you open this up and you have additional storage you can um, divide this down to that way the stuff up front doesn't slide back here and this closes back up top you can drop the tailgate you do have buttons to control your lights on the inside you can turn on the back and the front you can slide the rear glass if you like and just so you see how this works you can control how bright it is you can control it to go down and up and that's it actually I thought there was actually another system for it but you can actually close it too and it'll turn it off and this is gonna be auto dimming too so if you go to controls your mirrors can be dimmed down at nighttime if you put the truck in reverse this will pull up your 360 camera you guys can see on the side here you have a 360 view bird's eye whatever you want to call it and they also give you a, a wide range of the rear same thing goes for the front and then it gives you a different frontal view with your 360 camera bird's eye you also have some camera views you can zoom into your hitch or your ball if you're hooking up out back you do the same thing you can zoom in and they do give you cameras on the left and the right side too out back they do not cheap out on the interior as you guys can see it gets a little bit nicer in some cases they give you this really cool buckle on the back seat with some storage I like that the carpet and everything kind of matches too this looks really nice I mean not a big rear seat but adequate I would say overall I mean I would always offer the mega cab if I had to choose between the two they do give you storage just below and these do come out they also give you storage below the seat too and on this side you're gonna have a subwoofer but you have additional USBs power plug I didn't show you but there's a power plug up front too you do have your vents for the rear occupants and you can heat these rear seats too
You also have cup holders in the center on the floor. And they do give you hooks up top too to hang things. You also have tons of speakers. I think this has 19 speakers. And out back, you have more LED lighting. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take it for a quick drive. I love all these cameras, man. You cannot have any excuses if you wreck your car in a parking lot. I mean, you have 360, you have this. I mean, you really should just be a professional driver or at least feel like you are being behind the wheel of these nicer trucks. I wish that it was a little bit darker outside. It's starting to become dusk now, but there is accent lights inside of this interior, but you can't see them right now, unfortunately, because it's still a little too bright outside. But yeah, like I said, this truck is just so easy to drive. I mean, I really don't understand why people don't pick these trucks. I mean, it's just such an easy truck to drive. The steering on these feel a little bit lighter for some reason. I guess they must have updated to electronic power steering because it feels lighter. Man, that standard comes, but with the 68 RF, it just goes. I did do a video, I don't know if I'm going to post it before or after this, on a 2018 Ram with the 342s. And after driving this truck and then driving that truck, that 342 axle does make a difference on how the truck launches. So, it, you know, it's true what people say. Sometimes you don't think about it, but just the smallest things can make a huge difference while you're towing. So just keep that in mind, you know, if you are in a market for a newer truck versus a used truck. If you're planning on towing, I probably would recommend just going for a 2019 and up just because that 342, it feels a little sluggish in comparison. One thing that's really cool about this interior, especially like with the heated seats, the heated steering wheel, they actually heat the wood piece up here. That is so cool. Like some manufacturers won't go to that extreme. They'll just leave this cold, but they'll heat up the leather. It, it does take a little bit more time for it to heat up compared to the leather, but you can tell that it's warm. And I like that they do that. It's such a nice touch of the heated steering wheel. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, this truck, it just goes. Like, I love how responsive the 68 RFE is. It never used to be this responsive, but they've definitely done some updates to it. I feel like it's not sluggish. It just, when you hit it, it just goes. I mean, this suspension with the Bilsteins, it just handles well. Like, I mean, I feel like, I mean, there's a little bit of sway. I mean, you gotta keep in mind, this is a big old 7,800 pound truck, basically. So this, it's not lightweight truck. But, um, you know, when you go over bumps, when you go over imperfections on the road, I feel like it handles really well. It doesn't like throw you up out of your seat. I mean, again, if you're planning on buying a trailer to tow, even if it's just a few times a year, this is the best truck on the market, especially if you get air suspension. Air suspension on the 2500, this rides just as good as a half ton truck. I mean, it's quiet on the inside. I don't feel like it's harsh. This is an easy truck to drive. I mean, I, I, I kind of wish they would raise the payload so I can go back to a 2500 because I can clearly tell that this truck rides so much better than my truck does. All right, we're gonna go the opposite direction here. I'm gonna accelerate. Let me switch cameras here. All right, here we go. Nobody's behind me, so I can kind of take my time. So at 15 miles an hour, watch this. A little bit of a delay. But check out that. I mean, this engine, it just has so much power. I mean, 850 pound-feet of torque is no joke. And you don't really feel the transmission shifting now it's not as good as the other two but it's not bad i mean this is such a really nice truck we are under a winter weather advisory too now i don't know if you guys can tell but there's not a lot of road noise let me know in the comment section if you can tell i'll be quiet for about 10 seconds I'm going 75 miles an hour I mean, there's a little bit but it's not bad 
love this camera too. It's such a cool upgrade for this truck. Now I have it in tow haul mode with exhaust brake. Now watch, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake. I'm just gonna tap it a little bit. You see the downshift? You see the down, other manufacturers, or at least Ford so far, don't do this. And you can really feel that exhaust brake so much better. Such a beast. I mean, hey, I do own Ram. I have two Ram trucks now, I've had three so far. So I might be a little biased, but I don't care if you hate Ram or not. This is the best truck for towing. Taking a look at the numbers, you do have a gross axle weight rating up front at 6,000 pounds. The rear is going to be 6,040 with a 10,000 pound GVWR. All in payload capacity for this truck is going to be 2,101 pounds. On ramtrucks.com, they do have a towing and capability spot. If you click on towing capacity, it will bring you to the screen. You can look up your own truck, put in your VIN number, click find, and it will show you the numbers for your truck basically as you guys just saw on the door sticker it showed 2100 pounds max towing capacity this is a high number now keep in mind this three-quarter ton is limited to its payload so you may have to go to a one ton if you would like to tow a fifth wheel or some type of big gooseneck trailer as far as the gross axle weight rating in the rear as you guys just saw it was 6040 pounds it used to be 6500 pounds 2018 and earlier so just keep these things in mind when you are looking for your next truck but i hope this was helpful be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon Here's what the mirrors are.